What's it all saying in another context? What uh, greater love hath a man than he lay down his political career for his friend? Well, that's what Bob Ray did today in an act of statesmanship rarely seen in Canadian politics. And Mr. Ray joins us now. Mr. Ray, yesterday you were standing tall saying the public must have a right to have a say in all of this. If the Liberal Party is going to be rejuvenated, then you have to let the air in and fresh breezes blow. Um, how did you feel this morning when you discovered you were going to have a grassroots consultation, but it would be next week? Uh, well, it wasn't going to be a grassroots consultation. I mean, they, I mean, I've, I was talking about a vote of the membership, yeah. and that was rejected you by the party. You were talking about the real deal. Yeah, and I think that didn't happen. And uh, when it didn't happen, I, I, uh, I learned how to count a while ago, Mike. So I just made, a, I drew a conclusion that <laughs> said uh, it was time to. Uh, Pack it in, and also time, I think, to really recognize that uh, we've got some tough decisions to make as a party and as a country over the next uh, six weeks. We need to have a permanent leader in place, and uh, we've now got one in Mike Lignati, who happens to be somebody that I, I grew up with and I know very well. So I have a lot of confidence in Michael, and uh, I'm very happy to be supporting him. You've known him for 40 years. Plus, yeah. Um, but it must be tough. I mean, will it, who knows what happens tomorrow, but when you're... At our age, in our 60s, <laughs> what are you, you trying to rub never, it in? <laughs> you're never quite sure whether you'll have an, uh, you know. Oh, I think shot. the leadership is done. I mean, I, I don't think. I mean, I've, you know, that's uh, uh, that's an ambition you I had and I've set aside, and I, you just have to learn how to do that. I mean, I'm sure you, you know, a lot of things that you've given up on. I've, you know, the, maybe I don't, maybe there, I don't want to pry, but I'm Being sure there are. Movie sure. stars, <laughs> one of them. <those>, yeah. <laughs> No, but I mean, this, this happens in life. I mean, and and I think I think uh, I have a lot of support in the in the party. I think I have a lot of uh, friends and supporters in the country, and I can going to continue to be active in public life. And I and I and I'm very happy to be supporting Michael and supporting the party and and uh, engaging as a member for Toronto Centre. There's lots to do. Now, in the last little while, there seems to have been a bit of cleavage between the two of you over the coalition. And uh, what was it Mr. Ignatieff said on question period, coalition of necessary, not necessarily a coalition, quoting the great master Mackenzie King. Um, we did end up with conscription, by the way. Yeah. 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 So oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> he was the artful dodger until the very last minute, King. Uh, so what happens with the coalition? Will the coalition survive? I think the, the the caucus is obviously going to be continuing to talk about the next session, the, the budget, uh, the the range of discussions that we need to have as a as a, as a party. The coalition is obviously important to us uh, as as an alternative to the government, and we have presented an alternative to the government. And I, you know, again, now that I, what's happened has happened, I think it's uh, you should be asking those questions to the leader, and I think he he will be providing the direction of the of the caucus and the party. On that issue, as we go forward, it's uh, you know I think that's going to be very, a very critical question as we go forward, and I know that uh, that's something that we are going to be talking about with our with, with the with the uh, New Democrats as well as with the Bloc in terms of how the House will be managed and so on, uh, and that's something the leader will want to take a, a hard look at. In relative terms, you've been around a lot longer around Canadian politics longer than Michael Ignatieff. Mm -hmm. I get a sense from time to time. A, a whiff of in in the public an expectation that was like surrounding Pierre Trudeau, i.e. in '68 he can solve everything. He's the man for all seasons, and very quickly Canadians, at least some Canadians, discovered he wasn't what they expected. And of course, as we know, four years in in '72 he was cut down to a minority. Is there a danger here that in this kind of a rush to judgment? Mr. Ignatiev may, at the end of the day, turn out to be less than perfect. Well, uh, we're all less than perfect, uh, but Michael's pretty good. Uh, I mean, he's a very thoughtful guy. He's very bright. He's a quick study, uh, as you know. You've all had stuff. You've, you've had all him the on. Stuff you, you've we had used him to say on, about Pierre Trudeau. You've had him on uh, your show many times. I know he's a he's a good, uh, a very you know, very good, very articulate, very good explainer of what we're trying to do. Um, but more than that, he's a very decent person. He's a he's a, a kind person. He's you know he's a very nice guy. He's a very nice person, uh, and I I I happen to think that he's uh, he's going to do well as the leader of our caucus and well of, well as the leader of our party, and our I think he will grow on Canadian. Well, I don't. Our I think it's expectations too high. I don't know. I don't know what they are. I mean, I think we'll have to see, when he becomes a leader. I think we'll we'll see what the response of the public is. I'm think I think it's going to be quite positive. But I think it's always important that it, that it's based on. 
a sense of core reality. And I think the core reality with Michael is very good. I mean, he's a very strong person. He's, uh, he's taken a lot of hits. You know, his, his political career has not been easy because he's come into the House. He, he, had a, you know, he had a rough ride in Etobicoke Lakeshore. He had to win a campaign. It was not a, not a gimme riding. He had to work hard to win his riding. Uh, he ran for the leadership. Uh, he didn't make it like I didn't make it. Um, he's, he's earned his uh, spurs. He's done well in question period. He's good in the House. He's a terrific uh, communicator. He's a professional communicator. Uh, so I, I th he's got great strengths, but he has great strengths of character. I mean, he's he's passionate, and he's, you know, he has a he can be very intense sometimes in what he believes. Uh, but he is uh, he's a very decent man, and I think that's going to continue to to be the underlying strength that he'll have as we go forward. Just in wrapping up, my my question was as much about Canadians as it was about him. <laughs> Because we seem to invest in our leaders, yeah, and it do. seems particularly well, every once Canadian. once in a while that happens. I mean, I you know, and I think we'll see. I mean, I, my I own. Mean, they cure baldness and <laughs> well, solve you know, every problem. You know, hair solve every good. problem yeah. we have. You know, and then when they're not, you know, when they can't walk yeah. on water, is yeah. what was it? Stanfield said. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, was, if, if my dog, if if if, if, if my dog tr tried to walk on water, they'd say that my dog can't swim. Yeah, uh, I think that's. Okay. So you know, sometimes it's we important have too to be self-deprecating. So well, let's be realistic. Uh, yeah, I've never had that problem. So <laughs> it's great to see. Good to see you, Mike. All the best. Historic day. Thanks. A real All the best. Good to see you. you Take too. care.